It's okay. class time. Yes. No, you're usually you're the one who is teaching people stuff. Yeah. So today we want to reverse it. Yes. yes. I'm excited. So there are two ways you can buy these units. One, cash. If you have a fat Christmas bonus, you can let a kitchen chapesa and get your unit, whether it's the studio or bedroom or two bedroom. The other way, if you don't have cash, is you go through the mortgage, mortgage office, um, yeah. the Nyumba Bila Kiulizo that yeah. Mushini introduced to us. Yeah. But now we want to get into the numbers. We want to understand what does it mean to pay 9.9% .9 for this mortgage. So today I'm the student, you're taking me through different scenarios. All right, let's start. So like uh, Mushiri told you, this particular mortgage plan is called Nyumba Bila Kiulizo. And the interest rate, like you've said, is 9.9%. Why this is unique is because the current commercial, by commercial I mean outside this Mumba Bila Kiulizo, ranges from 16% all the way to 21%. So as you can see, 9.9% is nearly half of the average commercial rate. So we are going to tell, we are going to run a few scenarios so that you see what is the difference between a 9.9% mortgage and a 16% mortgage. So before we continue, I'll need you to open a mortgage calculator. For my mortgage calculation, I always use KMRC mortgage calculator. Okay. It gives you in Kenya shillings and it gives you nearly 100% accuracy. Yes. Yeah. So that if your math is not mathing, I can call you out. Yes. Okay. So the first scenario we are going to run is on this unit that we are in. Mm. The purchase price is 4.6 million. Okay. So we are going to run two scenarios. Mm. One scenario where you are being financed 100%, mm -hmm. meaning you are not footing any amount on your side. The okay. bank is fully financing you. Yes. And we are going to look at other scenarios where you are putting up a deposit. Okay. So open a mortgage calculator. Mm -hmm. Home sale price. Yes. So I the sale price put 4.6 M. Okay. Down the, payment. The down payment put zero because yes. you're being financed 100 percent. So that's what it means. To, yes. uh, it means to be 100 percent financed, finance. yeah. Yes. Yes. Because you know there are people out there who don't understand that yes. concept. Yes. So 100 percent financing means the bank is footing the, the 4.6. Yes. 100 percent. 100 percent. Yes. Very nice. Mm. Payment terms. Payment terms. So for this scenario, we are yes. going to work with two people. Number yes. one for a self-employed person. Mm -hmm. For self-employed people, the maximum duration is 10 years. Okay. So let's work with 10 years first for a self-employed person. All right. Yeah. 10 years. Mm -hmm. And then the interest rate, I type 9.9. 9. 9. 9. 9. Yeah. All right. Yes. Um, currency, it's automatic. Yes. And then calculate. Yes. So All right. So it's going to give you the monthly payments. Mm -hmm. What have you found to be the monthly payment? All right, the monthly payment mm -hmm. sixty thousand five hundred and thirty-four point nine zero. Sixty thousand five hundred and thirty-four. Mm -hmm. yes. And it's very important that mm -hmm. this KMRC calculator mm -hmm. is so dope. It yeah. even says that this is excluding tax, tax and, and insurance. insurance. Yeah. So we're not lying to people here. Yeah. We're breaking it down mm -hmm. as it is. Yeah. So the totals, mm -hmm. it says that you will spend mm -hmm. seven million mm -hmm. two hundred and sixty-four thousand. Mm -hmm. 187.76 come again 7 million 7 million uh -huh. 264,000 187.76 uh -huh. yes the interest that you will repay in total in total uh -huh. you will repay 2 million uh -huh. 664,000 187.76 Six. That's how much interest you pay. Yeah. yeah, the principal 4.6. 4 4 .6. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So what does this mean? So this means uh -huh. number one, uh -huh. getting a hundred percent finance uh -huh. is expensive of yes. period because you see sixty thousand uh -huh. is quite steep because if you factor in Let's say this person was to rent out this house. Mm. The, the rent value of this house uh -huh. is 30k. Yes. So if you rent it out, 30k will be coming from your tenant. Yes. So you deduct 30k from this figure, meaning at the end of the month, mm. you what will be due or what will come from your pocket mm -hmm. is 30,534. Yes. Assuming you've rented as unfurnished. Mm. If you rented it as furnished, mm. you get 45k. Yes. So you're going to minus 45k if you're renting it out as furnished. This mm. will come to about 15,000. Mm. So there are several ways you can go about reducing mm. this 60,000. What mm. I usually say in the mm. case of mortgage, mm. don't move into the house until you finish paying for it. Okay. Why, Why? I usually advise that is because, mm. you know, life is never linear. Things can always happen. Yes, it's you better you continue with your current living arrangement, yeah. then let this house mm. pay for itself. Mm -hmm. Then probably when you've slashed down your obligation by 50, 60%, mm. then you can move in. Yeah. So what that does, it saves you the extra pressure of having to worry about this extra 60,000 every other month. Mm. So if you rent it out, 
your monthly obligation comes down. Yes. So now let's do the same scenario, 100% financing, mm -hmm. but now for 20 years. Okay. Yes. So this now for 20 years yes. is for people who have a job, yes. or people who are employed. Who are employed. So mm. the home sale price, 4.6 million, mm. down payment zero. zero. Uh, payment term is now 20 years. Yes. Uh, interest same. Um, yes, so we can hit calculate. Mm -hmm. Let's run the numbers. So now, a person who was um, self-employed was paying 60,534. Mm -hmm. An employed person for 20 years will be paying 44,086 um, shillings. 0.66, but yeah. Uh, total repayments? You will spend mm -hmm. 10 million, 580,797.51, which means yeah. Yeah, the total interest. Mm -hmm. Five million nine hundred and eighty thousand seven hundred and ninety seven point five one. That's too much. That's too much. Yes. So what can you get this from this simple math you've done? Um I would say mm -hmm. the shorter the period of time, mm -hmm. the better. Yes. And also just like you had mentioned, 100% financing is not good yes. because you pay too much in interest. Because yes. clearly, even from this example, mm -hmm. if you are paying 5.9 million, almost 6 million in interest, mm -hmm. it means that that's, that's two houses. Exactly, my point. Yeah. It's good you've come to that conclusion by yourself. So mm -hmm. me, what I usually tell my people, if you're mm -hmm. taking a mortgage, mm -hmm. always purpose to pay it in as little time as possible. Yes because the longer you take mm. the more money you pay like for instance this five million in interest is a lot of money true you see yeah then you see just 10 yes you've gotten 10 more years but you've paid more than twice mm. the value of the house mm. so now let's do another scenario for the same house mm -hmm. but let's do 30 percent 30 percent financing no 30 percent uh, 70 percent financing yeah. such that you are putting 30 percent of pay aha okay so just go back to the calculator mm -hmm. the Home sale price is 4.6 million. Deposit 30%. Oh, so you just put the percentage, yes, the percentage 30. 30% yeah. What scenario are we putting? Self-employed or employed? Let's start with the self-employed yeah. The self-employed yes, guy, yes. 10 years. Yes. All right. So um, down, down payment. OK, our previous. Do we still have the numbers of the, the first scenario of the employed yes. person? Yeah, yeah, so the monthly payment. So first of all, what uh, is this 30%? What is the 30 per amount fine? Oh, down payment mm -hmm. is 1,380,000. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So this is 1,380,000. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the monthly payment will come to? 42,374. Oh, and the first time it was 60,000. So you see it has come down by 18,000. Yes. So then that means mm -hmm. if somebody rents out this apartment as a furnished house at like 45,000. You're a smart guy. That, I know. that is the conclusion I wanted to <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So literally, if you can raise, literally the conclusion here is if someone can raise 1,380,000, mm -hmm. put it as a down payment. Then you can like say you have a mortgage that is paying, paying for, for itself. itself. You don't have to get any money out of your pocket yes. to do this thing. Yes. Wow, Zee. Right. I like that. Let's continue mm -hmm. to the interest. What will be the total interest? Um, the total interest mm -hmm. is one million eight hundred and sixty-four thousand mm -hmm. nine hundred and thirty-one. You can see the mm -hmm. difference. Yes. When you are doing 100% financing, yeah. you are doing 60k per month. Yes. Right down to 42k. Yeah. Then if you are to rent it out as unfurnished, yes. you are making 30,000. So mm -hmm. you only need to drop up 12k. Yes. If you rent it out as furnished, like you said, mm. pays for itself. Yeah. Uh, in the interest, that is where even the bigger difference is coming from. Mm. You remember here you are doing 2 million in interest. Mm. Now you are doing 1.8. Yeah. This is a whole 800,000 you've saved. Mm. What can you do with 800,000? You can decide to diversify your portfolio, probably. Yeah get into money market fund, y yes. buy bonds, you see. Yeah. So that is a huge saving when mm. you look at it that way. Yeah. And also, upper core monthly payment, this is more manageable than the 60. For a lot of people. For a lot of people. Yeah. And like I've said, with the option of renting it as furnished or unfurnished, mm. it will pay for itself. Yeah. yeah. So the same, same scenario, but mm -hmm. now let's do for a, an employed guy. An employed so guy? the same, same scenario, but now we're doing a 20 years. Mm, but then the guy is doing uh, the same 30% down payment. payment. 
okay we change the ears to 20 ears um and also it's important to say that you can play around with your ears you don't have to do the 20. so me what i usually say yeah take the 20 years mm. just for to give yourself that peace of mind that yeah yeah i have 20 years but uh -huh. work towards paying first i think moshe mentioned yes 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 you see the thing with mortgage mm. is based on the gifts in balance yes meaning if you pay what you the interest charge for this month mm. will be lower than next, next month, month because true. the principal for next month is yeah. lower yes so if you can for instance you you are supposed to pay forty two thousand per mm. month mm. But then you have a side hustle that is making you even just 15k. Mm. So you divert that 15k. Mm -hmm. So instead of them reducing the, your principal by 42,000, mm. they reduce it by 57,000. Mm -hmm. Then the next month, so eventually the interest that you pay mm. will reduce greatly. That so, is. Yeah, so what I usually say, just take that long period yeah. to give yourself peace of mind. Peace of mind. But at the back of your mind, you know that. Yes. Yeah. Any amount you come across there, you know, yes, yeah, you know, this place. All right. But my idea is that we only have 20 years. Um, to 20 years, mm -hmm. so, so they have a monthly payment of 30,000, mm -hmm. um, 860. 860. Yes, so and million. then total interest, 4 million, mm -hmm. 186,558. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Right. Again, mm. back to the point that I was saying. Yeah. 20 years, mm. it sounds good, but look at the interest rate. Mm. This is another is unit yes. all together. Yes. Yeah. But now, now here's the, the advantage now of 20 years. Mm. This 30,000 mm. matches the rent for unfurnished. Yeah. So you can take that 20 years, you mm. pay more in interest, but the good thing is that money wouldn't have come from your pocket. It yes. will come from the tenant. Yeah. But then again, 20 years is too long. It's a long it's time. Long. Yes. So as much as you can, mm. try to reduce that time. You mm. see the difference 10 years can make. This is literally more than twice mm. in interest. That, that's very important because anytime you talk about a mortgage, you know job insecurity is a real thing in yes. this country. So anytime you tell somebody you take a 20 year mortgage, they're like, nope, yes. <laughs> I fight with my boss every day. Yes. So you have the option to, yes, take the 20, but you can repay it as soon as you want to. So it's like a self-paced mortgage. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. You're That's not bound to paying your monthly. The thing is, don't yeah. pay less yes. than your monthly payment. Yeah. You can pay more, but not less. Mm. Yes. The only obligation is make the, um, the monthly payment. If you do it more, mm. that is good for you mm. because that is what it means to pay a loan on reducing balance. The faster you pay off your principal, the less, less the interest you will pay. Yeah. All right, that's scenario one. Mm. That is really cool. Mm. Let's look at another option. Tuneza angalia mkulima mdogo kama studio or what did you want? Yes, I was thinking yes, let's go to the studio. Yeah. And see, also here what I wanted to say for the one bed, mm -hmm. it's also a good investment, mm. not for yourself per se. Let's say for instance you have a teenager. Okay. Who is going to join university over the next six, seven years. Mm -hmm. If you're financially able, you mm. can take this plan with a view of gifting this house to your kid. Let me tell Such you. Such that by the time they are graduating, mm. they are not just having a dream. Yeah. They are having a house. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm friends with people mm -hmm. whose parents were rich like that. Mm -hmm. So, when we are struggling with paying rent, mm -hmm. then their parents told them, here is me jump-starting you in yes. life, right? Like, you don't have to pay rent. Mm -hmm. You just look for money to pay your utility bills and food. And I can tell you the difference that makes in terms of how fast those people build wealth, especially with the right financial literacy and the right discipline, mm -hmm. you can almost never match up because the, their parents have sorted the biggest bill or even or rather the bill that keeps us awake at night so the anyway at the end of the day belonging to the wealth tribe actually means changing the script if your parents did not pass down wealth the reason why you belong to this community is for you to change the script and pass, and pass down, down to wealth to your children. Mm. So this is one of the best ways yeah. that you can do that. Yeah, Imagine that's your a, parents. You had an eight-year-old yeah. and you go for the ten-year plan. By yeah. the time she has an ID, you've already finished paying for the house. And what is important, if, for instance, like in my case, mm. I'm big on the startup world. Mm -hmm. So if, for instance, your kid will be in the startup world and they need funding, mm. you have something called equity release. Okay. So equity release, I think Moshiri must have mentioned He it. did. So this is when you fully paid for your house mm. and you're in need of some cash. Yeah. So you just go to the bank and tell them, you, oh, I'm in need of some cash, mm. I want equity release on my house. Mm. So evaluation will be done and you'll be given money against your house, such that your house will have as collateral. Mm. In case you default on the loan, yeah. the bank will process the house. 
I have a real life, another real life scenario. Mm -hmm. You see, um, <laughs> I as a creative, mm -hmm. there are so many people who tell us out here, mm -hmm. follow your passion. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like follow your passion, just stay home and you know, follow your passion, whatever it is, art, music. It's impossible to follow your passion if you don't have a roof over your head, Very or if you're worrying true. about um, mm -hmm. your rent or your food. So do something to your kids this is what it actually means when somebody says follow your passion it means that you don't have to worry about basic bills because you cannot be creative if you're stressed so if you want your child to be an artist mm. today is the day to start investing for them and there's something you said mm. uh, in african culture mm -hmm. we always glorify struggle oh yes like we, we believe like the more you struggle it's yes. a bigger blessing but if you can it makes the, it's easier for your for kids, children. Right? Yeah, because there's no glory in struggle. Exactly. And yeah. Also, if that kid, most people, I would like to think, if you see your parent has gone that extra mile of giving you a house, that's not something most people have. Yes. Even in your brain, something should tell should you, tell you that, that you need to do something to show your parent that you, mm. you are deserving yeah. of what you've been given. Also, the fact that you need to work harder than your parents. Yes. If your parents sacrificed to get you a, a 4.6 million house, mm. now obviously it will be valued more. Yes. In you, 10 years, yeah. Be in the 6 .5, yeah, you can joke around. You have we are, we are told that you have to be greater than your parents. So that is true because actually this is reverse. You know, we think that we have to let our kids struggle in order for them to work hard. But actually, if you give them something like this, you're also planting the seed that in this family, we pass on a good baton of wealth. And also in this family, we'd say that if I did 4.6 million, I only expect you to do better than that. Exactly. Yeah. And even maybe the best of this, you've heard stories of Bill Gates saying mm. he started his company in a garage. Mm. What he doesn't tell you is the value <laughs> of the house oh, that the garage was part of. Yes. See, so every great billionaire, even Elon Musk, they yes. don't start from zero. Yeah. Their parents had put them up. They have told them that is true. Bit. Yeah. So doing this for your kid will mm. really, like you said, if you have rent stress removed, you all you have to worry about is lights, internet, and water. Yes. Your level of your brain capacity that was dedicated towards <laughs> stressing for rent can mm. now be spent yes. on something. That, Innovative. Yeah. Also, the confidence it gives you yes. to know that you Owning own something. House. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now we are going to do a scenario for a studio. The mm -hmm. studio is way, way cheaper than a one bed. Mm -hmm. So let's see the numbers. In the introduction of this conversation, I asked Mushiri why Nyumbabila Kyulizo and he pointed out a few things and one of the things he said is that Nyumbabila Kyulizo mortgage rate is fixed and it's also cheaper because he compared the 9.9% to the current commercial mortgage rates in Kenya and the current commercial mortgage rates range between 16 to 21%. So because we're here in a class and we're here as we are evidence people, you know, our math has to math. So we are here with Jao still, uh, where he's going to, we are going to do a comparison. What is the difference between a 16% mortgage rate and a 9.9% mortgage rate? We also, we already saw the numbers for the 9.9%. So, Jao, let's do this. Yes, so go back to our trusted calculator. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that will change yes. is we are going to put the commercial mortgage rate, which is 16%. Yeah. So let's use the first scenario for 10 years mm -hmm. and then we are going to do scenario two for 20 years. Are we doing a down payment or no? No, let's start with 100% financing, financing first. Yes. yes, which is very common. Mm. Yeah. Are you ready? I am ready. So the monthly payment in this case is 10 77, years. Yeah, for 10 years is 77,056 shillings. Mm -hmm. The total you will pay 9 million. The total is the second row, right? Oh, total interest. Okay, fine. Total interest, um, four million six hundred and forty-six thousand seven hundred and twenty-four. Oh, yeah. Let's go to the scenario. Same scenario. Mm -hmm. Twenty years. Twenty years. Yeah. Now this is going to be crazy. Monthly payment is sixty-three thousand nine hundred and seven and nine hundred and ninety-seven nine nine seven. The total interest, yo, 10 million? <laughs> Come on. Mm -hmm. 10 million, 759,465. Yes. So, so that 
people who are going to watch this video can really appreciate where Yumba Bila Chulizo is such a steal. Yeah. Let's do let's go back do the math, but now with 9.9%, so that we can directly compare, uh, compare on the yeah. same board. Yeah. So we change um I'll first start with the 20 years and then I'll change this to 9.9%. All right. So monthly is <clears throat> For the 20 years, okay? Monthly is 44,086 shillings. And then the interest is 5,980,797. Like they say, numbers don't lie. Yes. This is why I'm a strong proponent for number black videos. You've seen the difference, 16% and 9% we make, especially in the total interest. By Numba Black Hiluzo being that affordable, it mm. has halved yes. the interest you have paid, mm. which would have otherwise taken a commercial loan. Yes. Okay. Let's compare to the 10 years. The 10 years, yeah. you will pay 60,534. Um, and the interest is 2,664,187. Yes. You see? So that is why this is 16%. This is 9.9%. You can see the big difference in interest. Here you've saved 2 million, here you've saved 5 million. So because of mortgage being compounded, that reduction from 16% 9% translates to huge savings. That's why I advise people, take advantage of these opportunities. Not every day that you have such mortgage. Mm -hmm. And also it's important to mention that uh, the advantage now, the fact that Numba Bila Kilizo is fixed. Yes, very important. It means that this is not guaranteed, the 16% is not guaranteed. Tomorrow, and I, I coach people on a daily basis. I have so many people with, for example, unsecured loans with banks. When you got that loan, you were told it's 13%. But then tomorrow they'll tell you, you know, the CBK, CBR, yeah, the base lending rate in Kenya has changed uh, with two basis points, with five basis points. And then so you're told now your loan is no longer 13%. It applies to commercial mortgage rates. The bank retains the right to revise it. But this is fixed. It doesn't matter whether you take um, 10 years or it doesn't matter you take 20. That matters. So that 5 million can go up even to 20 million. Yeah. So probably, so that your viewers can understand what central bank lending rate means, CBK will give the banks a minimum interest rate. This is just for a demonstration purposes, 8%. So when they say this is the base lending rate, it means you cannot give a mortgage or a loan less than this. So what the bank does, it will mark up. Because so they're in business. Maybe, yes, so yeah. they can maybe add five points so that they give their mortgages at, or their loans at 13%. So by Numba Bila Kiulizo being fixed, it means even if tomorrow the central bank lending rate will come to 12%, so the bank will have to mark up its own five to make 17%, you, you are immune. Yes. This 9.9% is constant. So regardless of what the base lending rate will be tomorrow mm. or next year, yeah. you still pay your 9.9%. This is also good because it's predictable. Yes. You can predict how much money you're going to be paying month on month for the next for the duration of your contract. Yes. Like you said, this might not be the case. You might pay this 63,000 for the first year, then the base rate changes, so for the second year you'll be paying more. Mm, and this true. base lending rate is revised annually. Mm. And it never goes down. Yes. It is always on an upward trend. Yeah. So even with this commercial mortgage rate, you can't bank on this. Mm. At some point it's going to go up. So Mbabila Kilizo is fixed. That amount of money that you're paying monthly will remain to be so until your contract comes. It allows you to plan. Yes. That's a very important thing. Okay. So now we can talk about a studio apartment. Okay. So same, same. We're going to use Numbabila Kiulizo. I think we're going to compare directly so that people can really appreciate. So for the studio, the purchase price is 3.5. So the commercial rate is 9.9. .9. Uh, 16% I mean. Then Numbabila Kiulizo, 9.9%. Let's run the numbers. Numbers never lie. Mm -hmm. So 3.5 million. We start with... Agatha, did I tell you I was really good at math? At some point I considered being a, a math teacher. That is cool. But then I what discovered happened? real estate. Mm -hmm. And to be honest... But real estate is investing and investing numbers. is math. So I'm still in line with what I wanted to do. Yeah. So that means when people call you to ask you more questions about Nyumba Bilakulizo 
and they give you specifics where they say min kona 500k peke yake you are able to do yes, that i'm able to calculate for you how much monthly payment you're going to be making and advice whether you know in in case i come to you and say and have 500,000 it's very possible for you to do the breakdown for me and also advise me that listen this is what an extra 200,000 will do for you it will save you x millions in interest which is very nice because otherwise um and that is why the wealth tribe exists we want to provide you the education you need in order for you to make responsible financial decisions ili kesho usikuje utambia mli tudanganya no Okay so so we are working on the studio uh-huh. same parameters uh-huh. 100% financing yes. but now we are comparing the mobile activity to commercial rate so let's start with the commercial rate first commercial rate at 10 years mm-hmm. for 10 years mm, um 100% financing we are looking at 58629 as a monthly payment okay and total interest is 3 million 535,551. Ah, uh, before we go to the 20, now let's choose number bila kiulizo so that you compare the reality. Okay. So all I'm Just changing change the is 9.9. Okay. Monthly 46,059. And then um total interest 2 million. Um 27,000 so 027099 Yes so when we forget the 20 year you can see how nyumba bila kiulizo literally has saved you 12k per month and in interest you saved you over, over this is over 1.5 million in interest mm, yeah so 20 years yes yes commercial first then nyumba bila kiulizo oh okay okay monthly 48693 but the interest you pay 8 million 186,549 yeah uh, now let's go to mbabila kulizo but there's something i usually say with mbabila kulizo it's literally your dad or someone who cares about you giving you a loan to get mm-hmm. a house Then we are like you lizard we are doing how many years? Both for now we are 20. Oh now we are 20. 20. Yeah. Okay. 33k 33,544 and then the interest is 4 um, million 550,606. Um what was the new babila kulizo at 10 years? At 10 years oh, mobile like release was 46,000. 46, okay, okay, okay. All right. So mm. as you can see in mm. all scenarios mm. the commercial let's put this commercial mortgage CM mm. then this new mobile like release and BK. So you you can clearly see in all scenarios here you are saving yourself 12k. Mm. In interest you're saving yourself over 1.5. Mm. Here in a 20 year period you're saving 15k per month. In mortgage you are saving 3 million plus. So this is why nyumba bila kiulizo is really unique to the market. It saves you money and like I said it's still a meal for young guys. So making it more affordable. So when I say nyumba bila kiulizo is more affordable, this is where the number. Because as I said numbers don't lie. We put it there for you. So is there any other scenario you'd like us to look at? Uh we can run many scenarios. So I think what we can do probably a nyumba bila kiulizo two bedroom why um A lot of people when I talk to people they say ah uh, mimi studio si mzuri because I don't see myself living in a studio then our one bedroom people say where will my guests sleep yeah. so a lot of people are interested in buying a two bedroom because yeah. people feel two bedrooms are functional two three bedrooms are large too huge af- and affordable but the but two bedrooms are sweet spots Yes. And also you don't even have to be a family there to stay in a two bedroom. You don't. Even a contractor like yourself you can say to an purpose, office. Yes. So you have an office mm. within your house. Yes. So the the two bed is going for 7.8 million. So like we've done with the studio, we are going to compare the commercial rate to number the like Okay. 10 years and 20 years at 100% finance. All righty. And also what what your viewers need to understand is There are many scenarios I can run for you. Yes. So if you want a personal scenario, Agatha you can share my contact or the link or anything then you can reach out to me directly and I can come up with a custom scenario 
for your current financial position. Okay. Perfect. So like I said, we reduced the prices on all our units, including the two bed. It was at 8 m but Kenyans are going through a lot. So we want to make it even cheaper. So right now it's 200k discounted. Maybe you might think 200k is not that much, but for perspective, legal fee for this unit will be around 150, 140k. Mm. So by giving you a 200k discount, it means I've paid for you your legal fee. Yes. yes. Okay. So let's go back to the numbers. A two bed, commercial rate, and you will be like police already. So let's start with the commercial rate. That's 10 minutes. That's 10 minutes. At 100% financing. Mm, yes, yes, the payment is zero. Mm. So, monthly payment 100,000, 130k, 130,660. Interest, yo, it's a whole new unit. In fact, it's exactly a whole unit. 7 million. <laughs> 879,228. Nice. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. The same scenario mm -hmm. for 20 years now. So this is going to be painful. Um, monthly, mm -hmm. 108,517. Mm -hmm. Yo, I need water. 18 million. <laughs> Interest 18 million? Yes. God damn. 18 million? 244,311. Mm -hmm. No, mark me absent. Sense. At all. Ah, yeah. now let's it, you work for the bank. Like In this case, then it just means that you exist to make the bank rich. <laughs> um, interest rate? 9.9. .9. Now let's work with Numba Bila Kiliza. Oh, Numba Bila Kiliza. To find 10 years? 10 years. 102,646. Um, the interest is 4,517,535. Yes, mm -hmm. 20 years. 20 years. 74,755. Uh, and then the interest is 10 million. Um, 141,352. Joe, this doesn't look nice. It doesn't look nice at all. So, evidently, Nubabila Kilizo is way cheaper. No, no comparison. Mm. It's cheaper than the commercial rate. Mm. But still, because of doing a zero deposit, still the monthly payment is high. Because even if you are to take Nubabila Kilizo, and you rented out the two bed, the mm. rent is 40k. Yeah. So if you are to assume you are renting it as furnished, mm. you are going to make about 60,000 per month. So you are going to be paying 46 less 60k from the revenue. You are still going to be paying 62k out of pocket. Mm. If you decided to rent it as fun as unfurnished, you are going to be making 40k. Yeah. So this comes to 82k you need to top up. So still at here, you remember the scenario we did for 30% on payment? Yeah. Let's try it. We see. Will it reduce? Will it mm. increase? So Numa Bila Kiliza with a 30%? On payment. So 70% financing. Yeah. So at 70% financing. Now, mm -hmm. the monthly payment comes down to 52,328. Mm -hmm. um, 8. Yeah, and then now the interest, interest. is 7 million, 7 million. 098, 098. 946. Nine, this is 20 years though, right? Yes. Oh yes, that is 20, 20 years. years yeah. Yeah. Let's do 10. Yeah. Um, for 10 years, monthly is 71,852. Um, the interest is 3 million, 162,275. If you are to take it for 20 years and rent it as furnished, you're even going to be making 8K. So you're going to be repaying by an excess of 8K every other month. So meaning you won't even need the 20 years. You'll be done probably in 17, 16 years. Yeah. If you decided to go 10 years, you rent it as furnished, you're going to be topping up about 11K mm, per month. Mm. If you took it for, yeah, and the interest, you can see the difference in interest. So the, like I was saying, always purpose number one, Deposit something, 10%, 20%, 30%, whatever you can, just deposit. Um, this is a, are you done? Uh, this is a, some sort of special dedication 
to a client because you know I coach people on a daily basis. So I'd like to do um, some sort of a, a scenario where it's like 50% financing because I have somebody in mind and I'm very sure they can do 50% financing for a two bedroom apartment for the 10 years. So Nyumba Bila Kiulizo obviously. So interest rate 9.9% then deposit. Yeah, the deposit is 50%. Yeah, it's 50%, which is um, 3.9 million. Yes. So the amount financed again is 3.9. Uh, length ni 10 years. Uh, so monthly payment at 51,323. Yes. And then the amount of money that goes into interest is 2,258,767. So what do you think of this Njao? Very affordable yeah. because if you are to rent this unit as furnished, making you 60k, meaning a month on month you are making an extra 9k, which goes directly towards reducing the principal. Yeah. So you can be done in seven years or less. Yeah. So like, that's what I was saying. Putting up a deposit really helps you in the long run. You might be parting with some cash up front, but it will save you money down the line. Yeah. So let's do the same scenario for 20 years for 20 years. Mm -hmm. 20 years? Mm -hmm. Oh, affordable. Um, yeah, 37,000 for monthly, 377. And then the interest, obviously it will go up because of the time, 5 million, 070, 676. So you see, in such a scenario, mm. this house will definitely pay for itself because whether you rent it as furnished or unfurnished, mm. you will match this. Mm. So this can also be termed as sort of rent to own because your monthly payment is matching or nearly matching the rent of that unit. Yeah. So this is one of those scenarios where the longer period works in your favor. It works in your favor. Yeah. Oh yes, because in the opposite, uh, the commercial thing it was killing you. At some point, we had 18 million that we were paying in interest. And then another thing that you have to factor, after this 20 year period, mm. this house won't be valued at 7.8. Mm. It will probably be valued at around 12 m or mm. thereabouts. Mm. So if you calculate the amount of, in this scenario, if you are renting it out, the only money that you yourself will have contributed will be this 50% on payment. Yes, only. yes. You will de literally deposit the 50%, mm. which is 3,900,000, mm. and vamos. Go wherever you want, travel the world, chill. And like we said, here there's a management company, so whether yeah. getting the tenant, managing mm. the tenant, that does not become your headache. Yeah. Someone else's full time job. Yes. Yeah. So you can be anywhere in the world yes. and it's passive income. Cool. And the money is paid directly yeah. to COP, mm. reduce your principal, then you receive your statements every other month. Every other month. Yes. So right. for skating to this point, mm. under this 20 year or even 10 year, mm. after 10 years, the value of this house could be around let's say 10m mm -hmm. so even if you factor this interest mm. plus the this interest will be covered by the capital gains the capital so you've not really paid for that house per yeah. Se, yeah. because the capital gains will refund you the interest mm. you pay back mm. so that's the beauty of real estate the mm. value unless something drastic was to happen within the neighborhood mm. in real estate the value always goes up mm -hmm. over time yeah. yeah cool so we are done with comparing um, so what is left is for you to tell me a mm. custom scenario that you might have in mind mm. then you can work it out. These okay. things I can do in a matter of seconds. As long as you give me your parameters, the yeah. payment mm. and how long you want to repay, mm. within seconds I can give you your monthly payment and mm. total interest. So in case somebody watches this video and they were very excited about the rent to own concept, they're like, yes, they have two bedroom apartments and you want to say that my rent will go towards me owning this unit. So what is the difference between if Nimba Bila Kiwizo, those scenarios with rent, are they the same as rent to own or are they different? They're different. Mm. Uh, with rent to own, mm. the developer um, or the person selling to you the house mm. doesn't charge an interest. Yes. So if this was rent to own, mm. I will give you this house at 7.8M, mm. then I tell you I've given you 10 years. Mm. So you just do 7.8 divided by mm. 120 months. Mm. So that becomes mm. your monthly payment. Yes. But this is an affordable mortgage. Yes. yes. Okay. I wouldn't want them to be confused with it. With, new, with rent to own, mm. it's a fixed figure mm. that you're paying for in a predefined period. Yeah. 
with Nyumba Bila Kiulizo, it's an affordable mortgage. Yeah. It has interest, the 9.9%. Yes. But how we can maybe compare it with rent to own is, in this scenario, where you are doing a 20 year at 3% down payment, your monthly contribution will match the rent. So if you are to move into this house instead of renting it, you will still pay the rent that you will have paid if you are a tenant, but now it goes towards reducing your principal. But Njao, mm -hmm. if it's a 7.8 million house and I want to rent it, how much is it, the rent? The rent for the two bed currently is 40,000. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I move into this house. I'm expected to pay 40,000 or more if I want to do rent to own because otherwise, if I'm doing the 40,000, I'm struggling to see how does the developer benefit if I'm going to just pay the 40,000. Benefits in this way. He's already like, in this case, let me be honest, any rent to own, even if they tell you it's 0% interest, the developer has already marked up his own profit. That is, it's business. Yes, yeah. they're, they're already making their own margins. Just that for you, it gives you, you see, and especially for the commercial rate mortgage, the monthly payment is subject to the interest, whether it will go up or down. But in the case of a rent to own, your monthly payment is fixed. You get So how to make Nyumba Bila Kiulizo match the rent to own model is if you put up a good enough deposit up front such that your monthly payment will match the rent that you have otherwise paid. So if I had the money for Nyumba Bila Kiulizo, let's say whether I have a 30% deposit or 50% deposit, what would you advise me? Do I take the Nyumba Bila Kiulizo or do I take the rent to own for the same house? Uh, firstly, for Rescue's Gardens, there isn't a rent to own person. It's just a Nyumba Bila Kiulizo. And why I wouldn't want guys to be confused is because if I say it's a rent to own, then like I've said, the interest part cannot be there. That's why I've classified it an affordable mortgage. Now that we understand how Nyumba Bila Kiulizo works, we want to be very clear whether Nyumba Bila Kiulizo is the same as rent to own in the context of Riscos Gardens. So is it the same thing or is it not? Uh, straight answer, no, it's not the same thing. And this is how I'll differentiate it. With rent to own, let's call it RTO, it's a fixed figure. For instance, it's 7.8M, then you either pay in 10 years or 20 years. So if you paid in 10 years, it will be 7.8 divided by 120 months. You could do it so that you get an actual figure. If you do it in 20 years, it's 7.8 paid in 240 months. Okay. <clears throat> 7.8 million divided by 120, 65,000. If you do it in 20 years. So 7.8 million divided by 240. Uh, 32,500. 32,500. Alright, now? Mm. 32,500. Yeah, 500. 32K, mm. 500. So, because we are done a scenario for Mubabila Kulezo, yes. at 10 years, and this is, we are assuming a 50% on payment, yeah. it is coming to 51K, yeah. and then to ah, and then for, for 20 years, yeah. it is coming to 37. Yeah. 27,000. So as you can see, with rent to own, there isn't an interest. The developer has just given you a unit at a fixed price and you have you pay it in either 10 years or whatever period of time you'll agree with the developer. But the guiding principle with rent to own, there isn't an interest charged on the on the purchase price. It's fixed like that. With rent to own, you remember with Nyumba Black Lizzo, I mean, we were doing, it's an affordable mortgage. Mm -hmm. uh, by virtue of being an affordable mortgage, you can't really call it a rent to own. So how it becomes rent to own mm -hmm. is if in this scenario, mm -hmm. where you put a good enough deposit such that your monthly payment matches the rent. Mm -hmm. And this is particularly for the person who is moving in, they are not renting it out, they are moving in themselves. So your monthly payments, if your monthly payment can match the rent, mm -hmm. then in a way you can call it rent to own. Okay, if your monthly payments can match the rent. And then another thing you need to consider, rent always goes up. But in the case of Nyumba Bila Kiulizo, this 37k in this scenario is fixed. It never goes up or down. But rent, this 40k, the rule of law is usually it escalates 2% every year. So after every five years, rent goes up by 10%. Every five years, rent goes up by 10%. So if you factor in this, over the next, the first five years, you'll be receiving 40k rent. The next 
five years, yeah. you'll be receiving 44k. Yeah. Right? Okay. I hope I've differentiated and to own good Mbabila Kuleso. Mm. Mbabila Kuleso is an affordable mortgage. One last question. My, I'm processing. Same house, 7.8 million. Mbabila Kuleso for 20 years. And this person had put a down payment. Had we put a down payment for this? Yes, a deposit of 50,000. This person would be paying 37,000. 377 yes but then if the same person mm -hmm. took the rent to own model mm -hmm. the person would be paying that 2500 same thing for 10 years you might be like the person would be paying 51323 but the rent to own person would be paying 65000 55000 65000 so yes. and also what you need to consider is yes. there was already a down payment yes for it to come to this figure. For, for here, figure. we've assumed there was no down payment. But also for rent to own, yeah. the developer might require you to do some sort of down payment. Yes. yes. It's, um, so it's like, have the conversation and see what works for you. Yes. But for here, Rest Coast Gardens is strictly Mbabila Kiulizo. Yeah. But I can work some scenarios for you such that your monthly payment will match rent. This is for the people who want to move into the house themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't want to rent it out whether furnished or unfurnished. Mm -hmm. They want to move in and avoid paying rent. So that rent now, they'll still be paying, but it won't be rent. It will be more of an investment because at some point the house will now become rent. Okay. The f you are an Airbnb manager at Race Coast Gardens. What do you have to say about that in terms of, now we've talked about Numa Bila Kudizo. We are not talking about it in terms of Airbnb. We are either living in the house or renting it the house. So what has been your experience as an Airbnb manager? And would you advise us to try that Biashara? Yes, so I've been running Airbnb at Tresco since 2019, so for four years now. Yeah. Like any other business, it has its own ups and downs. Yes. But at the level at which I am right now, mm -hmm. I have mastered the game. Mm -hmm. So it has good returns, but if done right. Because what people need to understand, you know, when someone is selling you about Airbnb, how many days are they in a month? 30. Yeah. How much is a studio per day? 2,500. Yeah. So you get 75k. Yeah. Uh -huh. To a rent, 20. To a steamer, na maji, 5k. To a internet, 3k. To a housekeeping, 4k. This is 8, 20. 40k. Yeah. You enter the business knowing you are going to be making 40k per month. Yeah. But then, this is what you need to ask yourself. The person who's bought this house that I'm renting to make 40k, I am paying him a rent of 20,000. Yet this person spent 3.5 million. Me, my only expense has been the furniture. Mm. So one of the main reasons why people go wrong with Airbnb is mm. may, assuming that things will be linear. It's quite possible out of 30 days you get occupied for seven days. Assuming that you get, people assume you'll get 100% occupancy, which is hardly ever the ever, case. Yeah. Yes. So the best case scenario is you can hope if you are doing anywhere between. 18 to 20 days average per month mm. this is good business yes. you can be able to break even mm -mm. and uh, pay yeah, and make some good money with the airbnb this is really my guiding principle just plan to make if your landlord you're paying your landlord 20k if you can make anywhere between 10 to 15k that is good money don't be greedy because another thing people forget the guys who created the airbnb created it because they themselves found a problem they are traveling, hotels are too expensive, but they still wanted to live in a nice, safe place. So Airbnb was created to rival hotels in terms of pricing, but much quality. Yes. So what you are happening in Nairobi, you are finding some units are more expensive than even going to a five-star. Mm. So that beats the purpose. Yes. So don't, don't want to make too much money. Mm. If you can just make 0.5, 50% uh, more on top of the rent, mm. that is good. That's why was in my scenarios for furnished, I was just adding 50%. So if the rent for unfurnished is 40k, if you furnish it, you'll get 60k. There's a month you can get more, there's a month you will not get, but if you just get 50% above the rent mm. unfurnished, mm. it's good. Okay. And also, what I wanted to say for, we are doing a, a promotion whereby the first 10 people who will buy under Nubabila Kuleso for the sole purpose of renting out, and they want to do BNBs, we are going to manage for them, for the entirety of the contract, until they've paid the entire contract. Yes, but it's only open to 10 people because with 10, you can be able to confidently tell you we can match, we can give you this fixed amount every other month. Okay. So there's been a lot of learning from when you've been doing something for close to five years, 
the first two years was just learning, knowing what works, what doesn't work. Then the next three years has been about perfection. I love this conversation because the numbers, we have a breakdown of the numbers uh, because most of the time people, um, people are delusional when it comes to their investments. They imagine that you're going to get a one-bedroom apartment just like you've said and you're going to be racking in 40,000 per month. Mm -hmm. In fact, there are people who imagine that when they start their MBA business, they can even quit their job because they think it's a get-rich-quick scheme. You've proven that it's not. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of time and proper management and dedication. It's like just like any other business. You have to understand the fundamentals of that business. So you guys remember, the starting point of this conversation was me sitting down with a conveyancing lawyer where we taught you everything, the due diligence process, everything you need to know before you decide that you want to buy an apartment. And we told you the truth, that when you're moving around Nairobi, you'll see billboards uh, telling you buy this three-bedroom apartment from 18 million or buy this studio apartment from 7.8 million. The truth is, that is just the purchase price of the house. There are other costs involved, such as, such as stamp duty, legal fees, um, even like from my experience buying my own apartment, at some point I was called and told, you know, we need to connect electricity and water, and you're the one who's going to foot that bill. Another thing that really surprised me is that when you're buying an apartment, you are the one who caters for the legal fees of the developer. And because yeah, the wealth right, we don't like lying to people, we're going to close this conversation with the same example of a two-bedroom apartment that uh, costs 7.8 million. And I want Jao to take us through what are the expected closing costs. Over and above the purchase price, you know, buying a house requires a bit of legalities in behind. It's not like picking something in a supermarket to just pick and go. Yeah. So the first closing cost that you're going to encounter is the legal fee. Mm. And I need to be clear, like you said, when you're engaging a developer, the developer has his or her own lawyer. Yes. You cannot avoid using that lawyer because he's going to be the one to remit your stamp duty. Yeah. He's going to be the one. He's draft he asks your for the, sale agreement. Yes, yes. Yeah. Draft your offer letter. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you cannot bypass the developer's lawyer. Yes. In the event, this is the advice I usually give because you're going to pay this guy about two percent. Legal fee is usually about two percent. So in the case of a two bed, it's going to be about this is 156k in legal fee. Yeah. It might be less, but up around that point. So, because you're paying this guy already, you don't need to, this is me advising you, you don't need to engage your lawyer. Really? This is your, in as much as it's the developer's lawyer, but it's also your lawyer, you're paying him. No, but from my experience, the developer's lawyer will always draft that sale agreement to favor the developer. That means I need my own lawyer. Yeah. You get your own lawyer, so there is this one's for the developer. Then you're also going to need your own lawyer. If you pay him standard two percent as well, mm -hmm. another hundred and fifty-six thousand. Yes. yes. But even if uh, that's your advice, I would advise people. I would get my own lawyer because, as I said, that agreement is going to favor. Let me tell you, it's from my own experience when I bought my apartment. Um, the sale agreement, it did not even have clauses that um, had, oh, th there, was, there was a miss, a very important missing clause. What would happen if the developer did not um, give me the house or did not complete the house? So you see, it's very important to have your own lawyer. It's expensive, but it's a small fee that you have to pay in order for you to be in convenience so that you don't lose the 7.8 million. Yes. Like I said, buying a house it's is a costly know. affair, if you're being honest. Yes, it's yeah. a costly affair. So the other, the, actually the biggest closing cost is what we call stamp duty. This is basically paid to the government for them to register you as the homeowner, as the owner of that particular apartment. Yeah. So it is usually 4% for houses in urban areas and 2% for rural areas. Okay. So if you're buying it, of course, resource gardens is in an urban setting, so it's going to be 4%. So this is going to be 12, 11, 212,000. Okay. Then there is also... Hmm, 312,000. So, so already the stamp duty and the legal fee is already at half a million mark or thereabout. Then there is something called management company formation. This is usually a one-off fee, depends on the developer. Most people usually charge it between 30k to 50k. So what this basically means is when you buy a house, 
you're buying a share into that project. So once the project is complete, you as the shareholders will decide who, will, who do you want to manage their partner. Do you want the developer? Do you have someone in mind that you want to bring? So that's what this management yeah. company formation fee yeah. does. You to give you a share in the, in the project. Then the utility deposit, this is about water, like you said, water meter, electricity meter. So this one I will give it a combined about 50k or thereabouts. Then there are also some other, these are the standard form, you'll always find these four, but then there might be others depending on the developer. You might find one developer requires you to pay service charge six months in advance, so that goes to closing cost. Another one will not require you to pay service charge up front. So these ones are the standard. So if you were to factor this comes to about 500k or even more than 500k, closing costs usually are about 8 to 10 percent for the purchase price. So anytime you go, you see a house is being sold for X, just add another 10 percent in order for you to understand yes. that you can really afford it or not. But the beauty of, especially in your black videos, you see this this time beauty. This stamp duty will be required towards the year. Once you finished paying for, for the units, you now finished with the bank, now you'll pay this 4% so that now the bank, the government can now register you as the owner of the apartment. So this is not immediate, especially if it's in mortgage, this is not immediate. Yeah, so this is, you'll pay after 10 years, after, after 20 yes. years. Okay. But this legal fee mm. is what you need to pay upfront, plus the management company formation, the utility deposit, service charge if the developer requires it. Cool. Mm. That was a very good class. Even before we wrap up this segment, yeah. I wanted to break down the process of Nyumbabila Kiulezo okay. in easy steps. Good, good, good. So like I said, mm. Nyumbabila Kiulezo is mostly tailored for younger guys our age. You know, mm. as we are a quick generation, if you tell me that this process will take three months, mm. it will turn me off. Yeah. I need to know, can I qualify for this mortgage what is required of me yeah. in as little time as possible? Yeah. So in Bablakuleso is broken down into four steps, or let's say five. So the first step in this process is appraisal. So appraisal means you submit one year bank statement, a certified bank statement from your current bank. It doesn't have to be cooperative bank. From your current bank, you submit it to the relationship manager at Copa. So they'll go over your accounts to see, to estimate how much money do you make a month, what are your expenses, that will enable them to know, can you be able to afford this? So for instance, if you are in your case, you're self-employed, so the maximum you can get is 10 years. So in the scenario we did for a studio, you are required to be paying, it was coming to around 30K a month, right? So they need to go over your statement and see, with all things that is happening, then we lump up another 30%, 30K payment, will you afford it? So that's the importance of appraisal. So from this appraisal, you get two things. You get to know how much percentage the bank will finance you. Yes. So after the appraisal, they'll tell you, hey, your statements are good, we can give you 100% financing. financing yeah. Or we've gone through your statement, we can only give you 60%. Yes. Yes. So the appraisal is to determine, can you match the monthly payments? So after you are appraised, the second step is that you choose a unit. You come to site, I'll show you the available units, then you select one that you like. The third step is now about legalities. So here we are going to have an offer letter first, then with the offer letter, the fourth step will become deposit. Yeah. And this step is only required in the event where you're getting less than 100% financing. If you're getting 100% financing, you don't need, you can skip this step. Uh, the fifth step is the best part. Either you move in, or you rent it out. Mm. And the sixth step is you pay your monthly payments. Yes. Yes. And then the very last step, which mm. will come towards the end, is transfer. Okay. So after you finished paying, now the bank transfers. But what you need to understand is, from the moment you engage with the bank and you qualify for an appraisal, and you get to this step three, the house is yours. Nice. The house, you don't become a homeowner after you make final payment. You become a homeowner once you start this process. The house is yours. Yes. It's just that you're paying back the money mm. to the bank, mm. but the house is yours. Yes. So this final step is about transferring mm. ownership so that you can get your sublease or your sectional title. Mm -hmm. okay. So with COP, what you've done, this process of appraisal takes 48 hours. 
It can even take less, but within 48 hours, you already have been appraised and you will know, do you qualify, do you not qualify? If you qualify, how much will you be financed? So if you've been meaning to get into the property game, this is an affordable way for you to start. And you don't need to be making crazy money. If you can be, in the case of a studio, most monthly payments come to 30K. If you have, you've been making or uh, saving 30K per month loyally for the past two years, this is something that you If you have some money saved up, you're wondering what to do, diversify your portfolio, get on Mabila Chulizo, yes. Tribe, it's been a long one. I know, we've learned a lot of things. We've learned um, about Triscos Gardens, we've learned about mortgages. We've never had a mortgage conversation in this channel. We've done a breakdown. Now, please tell us in the comment section. Do you have questions about um, mortgages in Kenya? Do you have questions about Nyumba Bila Kiulizo? Do you have questions about the breakdown? Does it make sense to you? Is this something that you would consider? Is this something that you would advise a friend, a sister, your spouse or your partner to take up? If yes, why? How did we convince you? If no, why? What questions do you want to have? And also tell me, should I invite um, the developer, Moshiro Chito again? Should I invite Njao again to give us even more breakdowns? Because I will, I will do that. Because at the end of the day, my goal here is always to help you um, make better financial decisions. At the end of the day, we're trying to build wealth together. As always, my name is Agatha from The Wealth Tribe, and this is where we learn how to build wealth together. Like, subscribe, share. Let's do this.